Hi, and welcome to my Minecraft world. So um, this is my Minecraft world for the Minecraft Stuco 2022 spring semester. My idea was to basically take over a village and redo the build, but a lot cooler. So I really enjoyed the building process. So I decided to add my own fun little build. So this is an igloo here. Um, there's no like igloo villager, but I really liked it. Um, so my first build is a lighthouse. It's on the mountain overlooking the village. And it's because I travel a lot, so when I'm elytraing back to the village, I can easily spot like where it is because there's this big build here for me to notice. Um, so just a few notes. Um, a lot of my builds I did on my own, like I came up with the design, and I did this all in survival, not creative, by the way. Um, but this lighthouse was one of my first builds, so I followed a tutorial and then I embellished it a little bit at the top with like how I did the storage chests and like the first, like the top bits just for my own aesthetics. So this mountain here was totally like filled in. I terraformed it all, like cut out a whole staircase. And so if you like dig underneath, um, it's actually just fake. It's like a layer of dirt on top of like another rack because it's easy to get. So the whole community is gated because I had villagers that were escaping and I didn't want them to run away. So I gated it all. So up here is a farm. I really like trading with like the farmer villagers so I built a huge farm with like sweet berries and like beetroot and all sorts of things and I have a lot of melons of course growing um and then sticking with like the village idea my plan was that I was like the mayor of this village so I built myself of course a giant house um this was a really fun build I did this one totally on my own after doing a lot of the other builds I kind of got a feel for like the styles that I like I got a feel for like what looks good and of course I made it so that you have to sneak to get in so only I can get in um no villagers allowed I have my pets and I basically have made this for like the whole first floor into an area for dumping resources so it's all the chests that I need ever um just flexing all my stuff especially my diamond count yeah um but I have like so many resources on this first floor and I also have a basement so this house used to be a lot smaller which is why the basement isn't centered but it's a big place for like smelting. So I have a lot of like furnaces. I have this little section. I was gonna do something with it, but I didn't know what. So it's just a big empty room. Over here, I have a potions area. So I like added lots of lava. I have some netherrack growing, nether wart growing, not netherrack. Um, and then here I have an aquarium because I have a lot of fish. So, and my, I just leave my like extra pets down there because I don't want them to get hurt. And I have axolotls hiding in that aquarium on the side. And so this one, um, I have a skeleton horse. So I want, it to have a fun time and I wanted to try some different design elements with like the whole crying obsidian um but yeah and so going upstairs there's not much I just have my beds here even on both sides I have two beds and then just another upstairs part so there's not a lot of stuff on here I like the minimalist aesthetic and I really like the way it looks um but this is kind of overlooking most of the village it's like a layer higher it's like one block taller so I really feel like a mayor in it. So one of the first builds I did after like the farm area was to do a barn. So this barn was to hold all my chickens and cows because I ended up trading a lot of like chicken products so, like raw chicken and feathers and I have actually my first big redstone thing which is um, an automatic chicken dispenser. So what my chicken dispenser does is just basically like is a dispenser you fill it up and it has like a redstone like infinite loop. Um, and so up here I have my horses, I have a lot of saddles, and I have a lot of, uh, diamond. And what else, what else? So this was a really fun build. I did this one totally on my own, like, no tutorials. It's a little bit flat because it was my first build, and I don't, like, didn't really know how to, like, add dimensions. So up next is the beehive. So I basically wanted to make a big glass dome, but then I kind of forgot that, like, if it's 32 in diameter, you have to have 16 for like the vertical height if it's going to be a dome. So I made it really tall on accident, but I've had a bee mural at the back and basically have a bunch of smokers going in. So this was a build that like, I'm not super happy with it, but I don't feel like taking it all down and redoing it. And I went around like to flower biome and I got a whole lot of flowers from all the different areas. So this was a fun build to do as, as well. Of course, I have a beacon to flex. So over here, um, that was just something recently that I did. Um, up next, so this is getting into the more buildy parts of like the more village side of things. So first is a butcher shop. I meant to make it like a little shop area up here and then where the wood starts inside. 
um, it was going to be like the housing area. So you can see I have some butchers there. I have their smoker blocks as well. Um, yeah, this was one of my first build houses for the village side of things. I also have the fancy pads with all the lighting. So up here in the middle, I have a fountain. So this is just meant to be like the town square. You can see the bells that they gather around. Um, this used to be like just the middle of my village, but yeah. So continuing along, um, I have the farmer's house. So this is a build I found online, but no tutorial. And I just kind of copied it by like looking at it. So some of it might be different, but there's like a little farm area. Oh, this was a really cute design. I have two farmers in here um, with their composters and some chests for me to like keep stuff while I'm trading. So following the path again, um, my big build over here is the library. So I followed a tutorial for this one and then I ended up embellishing it on my own. So because I did this all in survival, not creative, it took me a lot of time to get all the resources, especially the quartz. I went through like a lot of durability on my netherite pickaxes. Um, but all these guys are penned in here because they kept running away or like jumping off the second of the first floor here. So I needed to pen them in so that they won't, you know, end up losing my precious efficiency five books. So I have the top floor, there's a balcony area. And of course, we have a whole field of golems. I don't know how they get down there, but once they do, they get stuck. And I'm not going to let them free anytime soon. So I just am accumulating golems. Um, so moving onwards. So to the left here, this is where I have the stonemason's house. So this was another build that I did on my own totally. I wanted to give it like a more stone kind of darker vibe. So I have my stonemason's. Um, and then over here, I have the fisherman's house. I didn't really know what to do for a fisherman's hut that like isn't on the water directly. They have this little like bodega, like roof thing. So hopefully it's giving the correct vibes. Um, yeah, so these are just some of the builds I've made. And I have one final build, which is for the Fletcher. So I try to make like an archery range or like castle tower, castle guard thing. I did this build totally on my own as well. Like I added a turret, which I think looked pretty good when it came out. And then I just added like little wings coming off of it. So there's not much up here. You can kind of go up to the top, but it's just more of an empty view. And I don't really have a Fletcher in here because there wasn't, I, like, I think I just have issues with getting them to like stay to the correct block because they all go to other beds. But yeah, so this was my Minecraft village. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for a good Minecraft stego. Appreciate it. Bye.